Welcome back everyone. In this video we're going to be translating a series of if statements to switch statements. I have, a, I have already written the class name and the main method so let's get right to the point. Typically when you have if statements using strictly the same variable, the equal to operator and using constants, those are good candidates for switch statements. As you can see here. The first thing we do is to write the switch block and since this is going to be around variable A, that will be the parameter to the block. Now all we need to do is write the cases as we've seen them in, in the if statements. Since the if statements above don't have any um, um, any plain else statement, um, there is no need to put a default case over here. But um, it's always good practice to put a default case for switch statements. So let's just add one and just have x add zero to it to itself. Let's compile this and see if all is good. And there you have it. Hope you enjoyed this video and thanks for watching.